welcome class 6 in our e learning class and today as i have said that uh, you have to write down the question answers i have come with the question answers of the chapter an indian american woman uh, sorry an indian american woman in space kalpana chawla i have written only kalpana chawla okay so that i can get uh, space enough to complete writing the answers i am moving aside and then i will uh, read out the answers and you will try to follow Answer the following questions. Uh, where was Kalpana Chawla born? Kalpana Chawla was born in Karnal, Koma, Haryana. Full stop. Why is she called an Indian American? Now, children, you have to write down the next answer from the next line. You cannot start after Haryana. After Haryana, you give the full stop, then you change the para because it is the second part of the same question. So I have written though Kalpana was born in India, she went to United States of America for higher studies and later she got married and settled there. Full stop. She became a naturalized US citizen. Full stop. That's why she is called an Indian American. Once more I repeat. Though Kalpana was born in India, she went to United States of America for higher studies. And later she got married and settled there. She became a naturalized US citizen, full stop. That's why she is called an Indian American. Next question. When and why did she go to US? Kalpana went to US after the completion of Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering for pursuing a master's degree, full stop. Who did she marry? Come to the next line. That means change the para. Kalpana got married to flight instructor Jane Pyway Harrison. Full stop. Now give me the time. I will erase the board. Then I am coming back with the answers of question number 3, 5 and 6. So children, uh, question number 3. Can you see the answer? Let me read the question once. How did she become an astronaut? What gave her the idea that she could be an astronaut? So the first part, how did she become an astronaut? When Kalpana Chala became a qualified pilot, she began to consider another challenge and that was to apply to NASA's space shuttle program. First, she got hired as a research scientist in NASA and then in 1994, she was selected by NASA for training as an astronaut. The next part, that means uh, what gave her the idea that she could be an astronaut. Her dreams and strong determination gave her the idea that she could be an astronaut. Even she got support from her family members and friends. So once more I am revealing the whole answer. When Kalpana Jala became a qualified pilot, she began to consider another challenge. And that was to apply to NASA's space shuttle program. First, she got hired as a research scientist in NASA and then in 1994, she was selected by NASA for training as an astronaut. Her dreams and strong determination gave her the idea that she could be an astronaut. Even she got support from her family members and friends. Remember, here you have to change the para. Okay, question number four. As it goes, what abilities must an astronaut have according to the journalist? According to the journalist, enormous ability is required to become an astronaut. A person needs to know a lot about everything, comma, from biology to astrophysics to aeronautical engineering, comma. In short, encyclopedic knowledge is required. Once more, according to the journalist, enormous ability is required to become an astronaut, comma, a person needs to know a lot about everything, comma, from biology to astrophysics to aeronautical engineering, comma, in short, encyclopedic knowledge is required. And regarding this question number five, describe Kalpana Chawla's mission in space. Uh, this one I have not written because it is clearly written in your book. You come to this uh, pattern number five, Kalpana's first space mission, you better take the pencil and underline. Kalpana's first space mission in the space shuttle, Columbia was 15 days, 16 hours and 34 minutes long. 
During this time, she went around the earth 252 times, traveling 10.45 million kilometers up to this one. Then the line, this sentence is not required. The crew included a Japanese and an uh, and a Ukrainian astronaut. Only this sentence is not required. So after this, you carry on. Uh, just to underline, the crew performed experiments such as pollinating plants to observe food growth in space and uh, tests for making stronger metals and faster computer chips, all for a price tag of about fifty-six million dollars. So up to this computer chips, you can underline that. That means this is the answer for this question number five. Then number six. What does Kalpana Chawla say about pursuing our dream? Do you agree with her that success is possible? Now when it is written that what does Kalpana Chawla say? That means in present tense we have to write, and we all know that she is no more in this world, but uh, she is present in our mind due to hard works. So better we have to just write down this uh, whole para which is within quotation. That uh, you can start like this way. Kalpana Chawla says that. Then you have to start with this quotation: "The path from dreams to success does exist. May you have the vision to find it, the courage to get on to it. Up to this much, you have to write. And uh, this one is just with uh, within single quote, sorry, double quotation. So that's why you have to write it as it is written in your book." Now the next part. Do you agree with her that success is possible? This answer I'm just leaving up to you. You will write it on your own, thinking that whether really success is possible if we follow the path shown by Kalpana Chawla. Okay, children. So with this we have completed this question answers of this chapter. So when we will meet again, we will start the new poem beauty. Till then, bye.